Good morning. Late breakfast. It's the end of the week today. Got one more session with Isak, and then he'll rest over the weekend, and then we'll start up again on Monday. And again, for no reason at all, even though yesterday was like 50 degrees, and then the day before it was like 55, nice temperatures. Today, for some reason, it decided to be frosty again. It's a bit chilly, but at least there's no wind. It is what it is. Coach Javi's still out here, trying to get famous. By the way, did you notice? I brought the boots. Not just any boots, but the nice boots, because you never know what challenge we're gonna have, so gotta bring the best mate. So what I wanna start doing is using this camera to film the training sessions. I wanna use the GoPro as the alternate angle, but this camera looks really, really nice. So it's just really, really big and heavy to move around and stuff, but I think we're gonna try and see if we can transition into using this bad boy to get some really cool shots of the training session. Oh, and today, we're gonna do one of your challenges. I'll go look in the comments. I know a few people commented on a few things that we can do. Keep commenting down below any ideas or any suggestions you have for the end of uh, session challenges. All right. Ugh. Quick little stretch. Backstreet Boys music and we're off. So my boy Isak is here. We're about to get the session started. I've set up the exercises. Let me walk you through them real quick. First one's right here. All it is is a little bit of resistance work to some colors. Get his reactions going, get him to think quickly before he makes a pass. So that's the first one. Second one's gonna be a little bit more movement. I got the poles right here. As you can see, the agility poles. And then I got a goal there, and then a goal right here. So all he's gonna do is some basic movement patterns through the agility pulls and then have a finish. And then we're gonna go into a little bit more movement again inside the, uh, the mannequins here. He's gonna have to check off to the side, take a very good first touch, uh, find the color that he's looking for, and then ping it either into the goal or dribble around that color. So that one should be a good one. And then we'll end with a little bit of finishing. And then we'll do one of the challenges that somebody suggested in, in one of my previous videos. So. So this one's a little bit of movement, get him to start thinking a little bit. We incorporated some passes. We, we started off without a ball. We incorporated a ball to do some passes. And now we're just gonna do a few different variations before we move on to the next exercise. Alright, so I like to incorporate the resistance bend at the beginning because it warms them up. It, gives, it provides a little bit of resistance so that when they take it off, they feel a little bit lighter and they're warmed up pretty well. So that's what we're going to do next and do a few more variations but without the resistance bend.
Okay, so the second exercise we did was just a little passing and movement one. We're moving on to this one where now he really has to think. So there's four colors. There's a white, there's a blue, and then red and yellow are the goals in, in behind. So if I call out a white or a blue, he has to open up in the opposite direction so that he can receive, dribble around the, uh, the circle. And then if I call out a red or yellow, he has to open up to the side, look at the goal, and find that goal. So the faster you can do that, the faster you can check in a game when you receive the ball, the faster you know kind of what's behind you and what you're going to do with the ball. So just little thinking exercises that I like to incorporate and a little bit of movement in here in comparison to the other two exercises. So, all right, back at it, mate. Watch and learn, mate. Mate. I think this video deserves a thumbs up just for that, mate. running the session with just a little bit of finishing from both sides of the post. I love this one, it's a good one for a little movement, but you're right on top of the box. You can serve it however you wanna serve it. So if you notice I'm like chipping it or I'm driving it on the ground, however you wanna serve it is fine. They have to adjust, take their touch and have a finish. Light movement, I'm letting him get his feet, get set, and then I'm playing the ball. Again, it's a light session today. How's it going guys? Sorry to interrupt this video. Just want to let you know, go sign up for my Atlanta camp. It's up on the website coachhavicamps.com. It's going to be at the Atlanta Silverback Stadium, Saturday, March 31st from 1 to 4 p.m. It's open to both boys and girls and it's from ages 7 and up. So make sure you go register quickly because the price will go up $10 in the last two weeks prior to the camp. I'll see you guys there. Back to the video. At the end of uh, session challenge today, we're going to take a look at some of the comments, see which one was the best. And that's what we're gonna do today. So for this video again, comment down below what you think we should do at the end of the at the end of the session for the competition. PK challenge, but only side netting counts. Put an object down, and you guys will have to kick the ball. Whoever comes closest to the object wins. That one's fun. Push up challenge because the physical aspect is as important as the technical aspect of the game. No chance, mate. Ping to a one touch in a coned box for the challenge. One touch juggling, hitting every corner with both feet from the PK spot in the least amount of tries. Hit the crossbar from outside the box and head it in without the ball bouncing. Oh, yeah. I like the cone one. Put the cone in the middle, one shot each, the closest one wins. Or we can do three balls. So three shots, we're gonna put a mannequin down. Whoever gets the ball closest to the mannequin wins. We'll put the mannequin in half, yeah. and we'll go from the six. From the six. Okay, so we're putting the mannequin at half, we'll go from the six. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so we have a little bit of a dilemma here. This is Isak, 
right there. And this is me. Oh, so, the furthest one is yours? <laughs> so we're going to have to measure this. Okay, straight path to the mannequin, the closest part. One, two, and point six five. Seven, seventeen point six five. One, two. Oh. Seventeen point six five. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? Sudden death. Last one. Whoever gets the closest on the next one wins. No! <laughs> Who's <laughs> closer? Man, this is stupid. <laughs> Can we get some rope from the and then measure it? We gotta measure it now. A few moments later. All right. You gotta hold it like. Yeah, just make sure it's like the same on both walls. You sure that's the closest point? No, no. Alright. So this one's mine. That's tight. And this is his. Damn, you won. <laughs> <laughs> We've been out here for 20 minutes trying to figure out who won. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I'm happy. Am I up now by one? Or draw I again? So. I think 6-5 uh, now. Yeah, after I won you the won last the two. field goal. Yeah. Which we definitely have to and do it again. Yeah, and the three-pointer. <laughs> No, happy, good workout, ready for the weekend, ready for Arsenal to beat Tottenham.